All right, if you have an outdoor TV antenna and a free-to-air satellite TV dish, but you only have a single piece of coax cable going into a building, and for some reason you're not able to add a second piece of coax for either the antenna or the satellite dish, there is a single cable solution for that problem. These are TV antenna and satellite signal combiners. There's a set here and there's a set here. You need two of these for this to work. You'll need a set of two combiners because the first one will combine the signal outside and then the second one splits the signal back up once the signal is inside the building. So here's how they actually function. One side is an input output side and the other side is where the signal is split for the TV antenna frequencies and satellite TV frequencies because they both work on totally different frequency bandwidths. One combiner is mounted outside. Your antenna and satellite dish get input here. And then this cable is the single cable that will run from outside to inside a building. And then on the inside of the building, that single cable is connected here. And then the signal gets split up again between your antenna and satellite dish. Now, because this is an input output, that allows voltage to flow back from your satellite receiver to the satellite L and B to make sure you're getting all your channels and your satellite dish L and B is working correctly. This sets the same as well. They got the input output side and then the satellite and antenna side. And again, you need two combiners. One goes outside and the other goes inside. Okay, these are my outside connections. I've got my TV antenna here and I've got my satellite dish here. And these two cables are coming in from the TV antenna and the satellite dish. And this is the output side here. And this goes, this cable goes into the building. Now let's go inside and see how it's set up. Now we're inside here and this coax cable is the one that runs from the outside to the inside carrying both the satellite and antenna signals. And it gets split up now. The antenna side goes to the TV's digital converter box for my over the air channels from my TV antenna. And the satellite side goes to my satellite receiver for my free to air channels on Galaxy 19. And here's the satellite picture here. And here's the TV, the over the air TV picture here, both working at the same time through one single coax cable. Now remember, because this is an input output here, the voltage from your satellite TV receiver is going to continue to flow back out through this cable to the satellite dish L and B to allow for horizontal and vertical polarization switching of channels. Generally speaking, the DC voltage power pass is usually only on the satellite side of these combiners. If you have a TV antenna that has a preamp, that also requires DC voltage power passing, then you're probably going to have to run a separate coax cable for your antenna. In this case, you would not use this combiner system. Just run separate cables for your antenna and satellite. This satellite and TV antenna combiner system works well for the purpose it's intended for. Usually I recommend you run separate coax cables for TV antennas and satellite dishes but if you're in a situation where you only have a single coax running into a building and you can't run a separate one, then this combiner system is a viable solution to that problem. If you think these combiners will work for you, look in the description for a purchase link.